Welcome back to another Zoo Yoga with Zoo Miami. This week in our Zoo Academy lessons, we learned all about African elephants and how they're different from Asian elephants. We learned about nature's tallest land mammal, giraffes. And of course, we also learned about the very misunderstood king vultures. So we're gonna recap what we learned this week through our Zoo Yoga animal-inspired poses. So when you're ready, grab your mat or just make some space and let's get started. In our lessons this week, we learned that a quick way to tell the difference between an African and an Asian elephant is that an African elephant has a dip in their back like this, and Asian elephants have more rounded backs like this. So I'm going to teach you a quick yoga move that'll help you remember that difference. We're going to begin by coming onto all fours, so coming onto your hands and knees. Make sure your knees are about hip distance apart, relax your toes. And then we're gonna inhale, creating a dip in our back. So you're gonna inhale and arch your back, lifting your tailbone and your chin up, creating that dip in your back like an African elephant. And then on your exhale, you're gonna do the opposite. So you're gonna round out your back, looking down towards the mat, creating that nice rounded spine, just like an Asian elephant. So one more time. Inhale, coming up, arch the back like an African elephant and then exhale, rounding out the back like an Asian elephant. Now this is a great stretch to do over and over again for your back. So you can do it a couple more times and then just come back to take a seated position on your mat. Next up is giraffes. Again, the tallest land mammals on earth. Now for this yoga pose, we're going to be imitating a giraffe's body. And of course, when you think of a giraffe, the first thing that you probably think about is how long their necks are. So for this pose, we're going to start with our feet together. You're going to stand up nice and tall. Again, think like a giraffe. Inhale, bring your arms all the way up. And then exhale, bring your palms all the way down towards the floor. You can bend your knees so that it's easier for you to reach down. And this, we're going to pretend is our giraffe body. So of course, now we have to add the neck. You're going to plant that left hand down on the mat and then inhale and bring the right arm all the way up. Your fingertips are stretching up towards the ceiling. This, of course, is our long giraffe neck now. So to make it even more realistic, we're gonna pinch our fingers together to face forward to form a little giraffe head. And you can hold this for a few breaths. Make sure you take a deep inhale in. And on your exhale, you can bring that palm back down. And you can come up and take a little bit of a break and then restart and just try it out on the other side too. Now, as a bonus fun fact about giraffes, as long as their necks are, they're actually too short for them to just reach their heads down and touch the ground. Now, giraffes don't have to drink water very often, but when they do, they have to step their feet out really, really wide. And again, we're gonna imitate a long giraffe neck with our arms. So we're gonna inhale and bring your arms all the way up. And then on your exhale, we're slowly gonna lower our giraffe necks down towards the ground as if we're trying to get a drink of water. So pretend like you're a giraffe and you're really, really thirsty. You're gonna try to dip your head down towards the ground. Keep those feet flat on the floor and just gently lean into it. Take your time. You can take a couple of deep breaths here. Remember, deep inhales and then big exhales. And after you've held that for a couple of breaths, you can just slowly roll your way back up and then bring your feet back together to stand. Now lastly, we have the king vulture. In our Zoo Academy lesson and activity, we learned that not only are vultures one of the most high flying birds out there, but they can also have a wingspan of up to five and a half feet long. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our feet together. You can keep your hands on your hips for now. And if you remember your flamingo pose from our last Zoo Yoga lesson, you're gonna slowly start to pick that right foot up. And then all we have to do, keeping your balance and make sure you keep breathing, we're gonna slowly start to lower the chest down to the floor and then start to stretch out that right leg behind us. So what we've done here is taken flight. So we can start to open up our wings, stretching from fingertip to fingertip. Keep your balance. We're gonna inhale and start slowly flapping our wings. So inhale, open up the chest, pull the arms up, and then exhale and bring your fingertips together in front of you. One more time, inhale, open your wings and exhale, close. Good, and then when you're done, you can bring your hands to your hips and slowly start to rise up and then step your right foot back down. And of course, try it out on the other leg as well. 
Thank you for joining me for another Zoo Yoga. Make sure to look out for more videos like this. And if you and your family practice these moves at home, make sure to tag at Zoo Miami and hashtag Zoo Academy so that we can check them out. I'll see you next time.